Look at Jamie, say some words about your job. How much you love it, Airdale? <laughs> what are you laughing for? What, Chris, why are you laughing for? Why are you laughing for? I'm being serious. I'm being serious. <laughs> Good morning, the other week here at Airdale, uh, probably remember this site, I was up here measuring it a few weeks ago, uh, lads are just coming to start it now, it's like 80 metres, Flying had all this muck move back for us with JCB which is sound, uh, so it's literally just following this curb line down here, uh, along there and then there's a set of gates to go there, back end at week, uh, so they'll probably have this in in two, three days I would have thought. Not quite short, gates are quite ready, so we might just have to nip back uh, to do them. That's something now. And I'm sure the lads will get some footage as they uh, go along. Uh, the just run client is on his way now, just to make sure we all know exactly where it's going. Uh, we're up at BD4 doing some Palisade uh, 2.i. Yes, 2.i. 2 meter I uh, galve. All along this curb edge, there's like this a curb, you get down and then there's another curb. So it's not the easiest of digs, but the cart all be the best. There's gonna be a gate going in that side. As you can see, we've already got a fair bit in now. Lads are just gonna use this one now and then uh, post the end one, line it all out. I'm just following them behind, peeling it all up. So it's not looking too bad. Nice smooth line at the top, that's what we like to see. And then we'll be coming down this side. This side we're going to be going down to the corner, back in to the wall. Exactly the same re repeat at the other side. In and then back to the wall there. And then all this is uh, his land. And then same down that side there. That's where the gate's going to be going. So yeah, we'll get uh, get this cracked out. It's going to be uh, be an all week of this. Um, probably get a spare day Friday. Um, we've got stuff booked in anyway so it's another monday over with we haven't done too bad so it's been an hard dig so this is uh just so we know what we're here because certain times uh there's been a bit of commotion around here so you never know if you're going to come back to see it like this in the morning so we can up so there's one two three four five five full bays in and then all these are all snapped off free paled we one two three four five so up to that lamppost there's another five three paled off all railed up all snapped off and then obviously that's the post we were using uh, at the beginning of the day nearly done that full stretch that's probably the longest stretch out of them both obviously there's still gates to go in and there's a bit of bits and bats going in and out that section so we'll uh, get this cracked off hopefully I'm hard at it here, renewing our Chaz and PQS, which obviously you've got to do every year to sort of work for any type of contractors, anything like that. They won't, they won't entertain you if you haven't got anything like that with your health and safety. Um, it's a bit of an headache, but I get an external company that sort of deals with all that for me and acts as our external health and safety advisor. Um, yeah, it's quite expensive. I think it, all in all, it might cost me about 1,200 quid a year, I think it is. Yeah, and then obviously you've got to get all other bits like CSCS, Triple STS, I've got SMSTS, uh, site managers, Justin's done his site supervisors. But yeah, it's never ending, there's always somebody with their hand out. But that's the way of uh, construction these days, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I know another industry that's taxed so much, to be honest, to call it health and safety, but it's just another tax. That's all it is. So yeah, rant over anyway. So weather's finally picked up on us. Now it's near the end of the day. We're down, down near that gate now. There's free pail in it and getting hot pails on now. Then uh, this tomorrow up there, Thursday gate in, panel across there. Hopefully we're rocking and rolling. Top corner where we started. Okay, Jamie, say some words about your job. How much you love it, Airdale? 
<laughs> Come on then, oh, shots. Digging holes. Loves a good hole, Jamie. Wish there were one big enough to bury him in. <laughs> Alright, just finishing up for the day. Last little bit here just at house. Then obviously gate around the other side tomorrow. Alright, so it's all done. Just getting uh, gates off now. Horse are in. Hopefully this sits nicely. That section's done. It's a really nice job this to be honest. How straight that is. I've never have, uh, I've lived around this area most of my life, I never even knew this unit existed here. I'm just near Undercliff. And great unit, perfect for me, like it's like a big unit patch of it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the tail is, I want us to fence it off out back, around there, uh, but it's just literally all the rubble that's been piled and basically a guy's been building a house there. Um, by the sound of it, he's a bit of a gangster drug, drug dealer or something. Um, and I think he's in prison apparently. But um, and he's just been dumping all his stuff on their land, and basically they want it fencing off. Um, it said there'll be hell on when he comes out because he was meant to be buying this factory for his garden, this and the other. But the bloke who owned it sold it to these new guys while he's been in prison. So that'll be fun of games when he comes out, won't it? <laughs> so. Uh, I said, look, you like to get a machine in and level it out and get rid of like big stones. I said, we can't dig through that. Um, like you'd have in a bloody stone quarry. Like three ton a piece. I said, we can't do all with that. So anyway, they said they'd get a machine in and level it out and whatever. So um, just want some two meter measure. I'll, uh, it's literally out corner from my yard. I'll, um, I'll get back and uh, quote this one up and see how we get on. Back at the office now, uh, this is where I spend most of my time if I'm honest. I'm either on the road seeing jobs, surveying, or I'm back at the office. Nothing glamorous, just me and my screens, <laughs> my CCTV, uh, my kettle, and you know, get my head down, stuck in it. Mind boggling, we're really busy at the minute actually, which is not a bad thing, uh, but just try to organise everything, you know, even on the, you know, mat on access control side, stuff like that, busy. So it's just try to organise us all at the same time for, you know, when we're on the same jobs. You know, I've got Ryan who's at back, uh, Mini Landscapes, cheers Ryan, um, he gives us on now and again. Um, We've got a big school coming up that we're going to get order for. Um, sort of 99% there with that. We've been pricing that a while. So, yeah. Uh, it'll take all, all, a lot of us, really. So, it's just try to jiggle it, organise it all. And that's what I do. Spend most of my time organising jobs, quoting them, and, you know, stuff, non glamorous stuff behind the scenes that nobody sees, but somebody's got to do it. So, yeah, that's my job. So I'll get cracked on, I've just got to get along and have a brew. I've only been back half an hour, but so I'm going to try and have a drink today. I'll have a quick brew and then I'll crack on with my quotes uh, that I've been to see this morning. Like I say, busy at the minute, I'm not quite sure what's happened this way, but it's just gone. Absolutely. Well, uh, well, I do know what's happened. But it has peaks and troughs in this game, and because we sort of specialise doing a lot of schools. Um, so now I know it's coming up to October, school holidays in, I think it's two weeks. You know, they all leave it well a couple of weeks before. Try and order it and expect that 
you're not doing anything and they could have it done in, in October when it's only two weeks away, which unfortunately is not realistic. Uh, you know, so you've got to let them down gently a few times. Obviously, we do the best we can, but end of day, you can only be in one place at one time, can't you? So, you know, unfortunately, this is what happens. We work on a, you know, a first come, first serve basis. So, it is what it is. Either way, or, you know. really sure you must gains but basically obviously his jobs come in like I've just had a job come in for a big school over at Batley with a lot of automation works which is fine that sorts that side out um, and then we've got a decent amount of fencing I mean there was a lot more but it's sort of halved it now uh, it's roughly 100 metres so I have a stock sheet that Justin keeps up within the yard um, and obviously as as the jobs come in, I quickly look on the stock, you know, have we got that in, do I need to order it, blah blah blah. Um, we've got plenty of this type and height in that we need for that, so that's fine. Um, and then, obviously as the jobs come in, Justin will then check them off against the stock sheet and allocate them for jobs. So then, like once a week, we'll have a get to and write, what have we ordered, what do we need, blah blah blah. And then we'll order, so we've always got a good few hundred meters in stock obviously we don't like to overstock because it's just money sat there basically um, so yeah that's how we go about it um, and then this job um, this particular job in Batley I'm talking about has got like three gates so then I've got to go through the measurements go back to my my book like the bible um, that's that's literally like the money maker is that that's my bible obviously when i do my site surveys i'll refer back to my little drawings that i do where it only takes you know i don't know if you, how well you can see them but little scribbles there might not be able to make a detail of them but i know what they mean so then i transfer them to like a proper drawing and then get passed to our fabricators who uh, do a grand job in uh, making the gates basically so anyway, that's it for now. I'll give you an insight into what goes on behind an offensive business. So, yeah. Lovely weather again. That's what, that's us for another week at Air Daily. Lads have just come back now, look. So yeah, we'll uh, call it a, a day at this one, I think. Another week gone. And uh, if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Or give us a like down below. If you really like us, why not subscribe by the year? We'll see you next time. See ya.